Yeah, um, just to, maybe I'll just tell you how it went down in Canada and just tell you what's happening next with it. Um, we had a fantastic response in Canada. It was premiered there on the 3rd of May. We had 720 people in the audience in the Blue Cinema in Toronto. Uh, the Canadian media just went completely berserk over it. It was quite extraordinary. We were on every prime time show um, in, in Toronto talking about it. But the thing that really struck me about it, in all the screenings, we had four screenings. One was for school children from around the region, from Ontario, walking bus in from, from surrounding areas to Toronto to see it. And an educational pack was produced for them about the destruction of the environment, um, which um, is, is available uh, if anybody wants a copy of it, I'll happily send it to you. Um, but uh, the thing that struck me was just how angry people felt after seeing the film. It was this, um, I couldn't get out of the cinema, you know, for about half an hour to an hour after each performance, because people, we'd have a question and answer session. Um, they were furious at the treatment of Michael, Molly, Susan, David, and Moira, and all the residents here. And they were all saying, you know, how on earth could something like this be allowed to happen? How could, you know, a government allow <coughs> people to be harassed and intimidated and bullied by um, somebody like Donald Trump. And how could uh, Donald Trump be given the go-ahead to essentially destroy a, a unique um, habitat and something which all the scientists tell us is, is unique in, in Europe? So they were very, very angry about it and they wanted to, to do something. Um, and so I've been talking to a few groups, but it, it's, it's quite difficult, I have to say, because it's just really me and my colleague Richie is, is, you know, more and more involved with other projects as well. And, um, but we really need to find a way of bottling that anger somehow and allowing people to to um, take it a next, next step further, you know. Um, I mean, I would always say there's Triple F Trump as the group, and I said, you know, uh, the residents need your support and you can write to them and they'd really appreciate it. But really, I think people want more than that. So I have been speaking with friends of the Earth Scotland to a number of other groups. But the one I think that will hopefully help us a little bit is a, a group called Take One Action, which is a Scottish-based sort of campaigning force for film. And they are sort of trying to use film to, to change things for the better and to use it as a kind of an educational message. So, so I'm hoping something might come from that. But um, really, you know, the, the main thing for me now is to try and get people see it obviously it's an urgent documentary because it needs to get out there you know I didn't make it to be sitting on a shelf somewhere and so we've got the first screening is at the Belmont in Aberdeen on the um, 17th Friday the 17th that's a week Friday and it's free to anybody to come but tickets are are going quite quickly but if you can't get to that one um, you know there's one on the 14th of July uh, in Edinburgh and we're going to do um, another one hopefully at the GFT in Glasgow on the 15th. And then um, also we're working very hard to get it distributed and for those who have helped put money into the film, as I know some people here have very generously, because we were given no support from within Scotland by Greater Scotland or and the Edinburgh Film Festival refused to show it, which of course is you know indirectly funded through the Scottish Government as you know. Um, you know, we've we've really sort of we're very grateful to the Belmont Cinema and Aberdeen who've given us the opportunity to screen it there first. But you know, I'm incredibly grateful to everybody here, anybody here who has donated because it, it um, allowed us to finish it in time for Hot Dogs. It was a the festival in Canada is called Hot Dogs. Hot Dogs. Is there. <laughs> but it, it was very difficult to get it done, and it was only by the generosity of everybody who did, um, and we got it finished in time. But, you know, we really are working hard to, to get it out there and to get it noticed. And this week, there was an article that's floating around from, from the Daily Mail from yesterday. There's a piece on the Sunday Express today about it, quite a big piece. So we're really trying to get the message out there. And I think the important thing is um, that this is, as Andy was saying, just in wrapping up here, that it is a story that people just do not know about. They don't know the intimidation of, of the residents here. They don't know the destruction of the they don't actually understand because nobody's told them about it. I mean, and we all know in the local newspapers here and never print any of that. So they don't actually, and it's, that message, you know, hasn't got through to people. And I think part of the problem in Scotland is people just haven't had the facts 
to make up a proper decision about what's been happening. So hopefully the film will at least give them an opportunity to, to have those facts presented for the first time. And then, you know, let's see what happens. See, people can make up their own minds about what they think. But at the moment they're making it up their minds a lot of the time on one set of one side of the story, certainly in this area, as we know, the Press and Journal and Evening Express, newspapers just printing one side of the story. And so hopefully this will help them out. So it'd be great to see as many of you who can come on the, uh, you know, to some of these screenings. It'd be, it'd be really nice to see you there and you do very, very well. So hopefully we'll uh, yeah, see, you, see you there and, and look forward to seeing what happens with it. But uh, thanks very much. Sheila and Molly for, for, for this as well, for the tea and the, the you know, it's such a contrast to the, I remember the, the I've said more than a couple of words. Most of them have heard me over the course of the day. No, well, thank you very much, for I think uh, no, I think today's thanks actually goes to everybody who's standing here because you've come along to support us in a very important campaign. I'm somewhat biased because I'm bang in the middle of it, but to get help when folk like you turn up that have no need to be here, you've no reason personally to be here, it helps us greatly. I'm sure. Mike and Sheila and Molly, along with Mo uh, Moira and the others who are involved, Susie and John Munro and their family, will all be pleased that we've got a turnout like this of honest people, some Aberdeenshire, some far further afield, and we do appreciate your coming today. Thank you very much indeed. And the thanks today goes to you for coming here. So thank you folks. I do appreciate it. say that Sarah Malone of Trump International Golfing Scotland are directly in police to contact me and say that we were to stop this march and if we went ahead with it they would stop us with their security vehicles and they didn't. <laughs> As we <laughs> saw today that didn't quite work the way they had intended. So again, thank you. Thank you. How to be nice Thank and you, welcoming Steve. under the Land Reform Act, eh? Oh yes, <laughs> a lovely little piece of legislation that seems to be forgotten in certain yes. quarters. <laughs> There's nobody, I brought a copy with me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you as well. <laughs>